Bobby Knight once said, the greatest motivator of all is your ass on the bench. The start to the Anthony Richardson era in Indianapolis has been rocky, to say the least. The good moments are really good. Richardson's 20-point comeback against the Rams, and even his first couple drives against that great Steeler defense this year. But the bad? Well, we all know the bad. 2 of 15 in the first half of a key divisional matchup against Houston is probably the worst. Let's address Joe Flacco. Joe gives Indianapolis the best chance to win football games. While Richardson getting in-game reps is important for his development, winning is equally as important for the team and the locker room. What free agent or current Colt would want to stay in Indianapolis when they know they're just going into a losing situation? Having a positive and hopeful environment is just as important for him to develop. Richardson was voted a captain. He wears the C on his chest. A true leader does what's best for the team, even if that includes giving a player his spot when the team deems it necessary. And that applies to all levels of football or sport. Richardson's confidence has been another topic brought up. First off, none of us know who he really is, what his personality is, and how he responds to adversity. Those are things things that the organization, his friends, his family, and only himself truly know. But I know one thing. A quarterback going 10 of 32 in a big divisional game with essentially a pick six that was the difference in the game kills a team and fan base's confidence in the player. If benching Richardson kills his confidence to the point that his career is ruined, that just shows he would never work anyways, no matter what Indianapolis does, that he can't handle any adversity. Drew Brees, Alex Smith, and even Joe Montana have all been benched before. They came back for the better. So look at another sport, Jackson Holiday and Baltimore. He was sent down after a horrendous debut, and he came back for the better. Let's not act like this is forever. While Shane Steichen committed to Flacco as the starter moving forward, he also committed to Richardson just a few days before. Indianapolis would not spend the fourth pick in the draft on a project to get rid of him after two seasons. Why is this benching coming now? Well, the Colts have a really tough four-game stretch coming up with Minnesota, Buffalo, the Jets, and Detroit, while Indianapolis is also very much in the playoff race. Indianapolis gave Richardson a chance in the first half of the year to prove himself. He didn't, yet Indy still found a way to get to 4-4 four and four, thanks to the talent around Richardson. You don't want to waste that talent, right? Things seem to snowball very fast for AR, and unless management stepped in to put a stop to it, who knows how bad things could have gotten down this stretch. Remember, this isn't the Anthony Richardson development team. This is the Indianapolis Colts. If they feel they have an opportunity to win, especially the division, it's their job to do everything they can to do that. And the AFC South is still very winnable, with a very injured 6-3 Texans team at the top. After this tough four-game stretch, the Colts see New England and Tennessee. Flacco can keep India afloat until they see New England. Put Richardson in for the first half against New England, see how he does. If he struggles, just go back to Flacco. This could be a really good thing for Richardson's career. A true opportunity to rest up and heal all those small bumps and bruises he's probably acquired sit and learn behind a former Super Bowl MVP quarterback in Joe Flacco and really hone in on a lot of the major issues he still has yet to solve. And when he comes back, he can come out with almost no expectations against a weak New England team, hopefully with a chip on his shoulder after hearing all these Colts fans say that his career is basically over. Now, I'm not taking a stance on whether he is or is not a bust, but it's just way too early to make that judgment.